What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So it's official now. Lightweight Mexican superstar title contender. I see Pitbull Cruz. 24 wins, two losses, one draw. 17 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, five foot three with a 63 inch arm reach, has officially issued a statement to the World Boxing Council, WBC, President Mauricio Suleiman, board of 32 members, and to the world that they are officially turning down the opportunity to face undefeated Olympic silver medalist, two division world champion, former unified super featherweight WBC WBO world champion, superstar boxer, Shakur Stevenson, okay? Isaac Cruz is now turning down the opportunity to fight Shakur Stevenson, okay? Shakur Stevenson's an undefeated fighter. Shakur Stevenson is officially still a world champion because Shakur Stevenson didn't lose his titles in the ring. He lost it on the scale. Shakur Stevenson is now 19 wins, no losses, no draw. Nine wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, five foot eight with a 68 inch arm reach. Okay? Shakur Stevenson last fight was against Robson Casasial in a home home fight at Newark, New Jersey, uh, which Shakur Stevenson, he put on a dazzling performance, but he couldn't make the, the contractual weight of 130 pounds. So Shakur Stevenson, he came in, he missed weight by 1.6 pounds, uh, and he made it official that he simply just cannot make the weight, okay? It's too much for him. Uh, and now he's moving to 135, okay? He was the WBC, WBO champion. So when he moved up to 135, we had the WBC convention this past weekend, okay? To which, uh, uh, this past week, should I say, to which the WBC had ordered Isaac Cruz to face off against Shakur Stevenson for a WBC title eliminator to fight the winner of undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who is 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout, um, uh, 23 years of age, he'll be 24, five foot nine with a 72 inch arm reach, as Devin Haney is going to be set to take on Olympic two-time gold medalist, three division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasil Hightech Lomachenko, who has 16 wins, uh, no, excuse me, 17 wins, two, lo two losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout, 34 years of age, five foot six with a 66 inch armies. Uh, that's look like that's gonna possibly take place in March, okay? So with that said, now uh, um, Isaac Cruz and his team are saying that they would much rather fight Lomachenko. So if Devin Haney wins, they have no interest in fighting Devin Haney. And right now, they turned down officially the opportunity to fight Shakur Stevenson. And they said because Shakur Stevenson is going to be like a dog chasing a cat. Hence, his name is Pitbull Cruz, right? So it's going to be like a dog chasing a cat is what they stated, right? Uh, and so they have the same viewpoints when it comes to them fighting Devin Haney because they're not interested in chasing around and making a boring fight. This is what they had to say, right? Uh, we'd rather fight Lomachenko. He's an easier fight and we will stop him. Shakur fight would be extremely boring, running all over the ring like a dog chasing a cat. We would probably make more money fighting other fighters anyway, end quote. You see, this is what I tell y'all when I tell you about the business of the sport of boxing, when it relates to Terence Crawford, Errol Spence, the business part that people don't see, but the fighters behind the scenes and overall just with the business in the sport of boxing. Okay, so here you have Isaac Cruz saying that it would be like a dog chasing a cat and a easier fight for them would be them fighting Vasil Lomachenko so they would much rather go the route of attempting to fight Vasil Lomachenko. They have no interest in Shakur Stevenson. And then later on he goes, it would be the same thing with Devin Haney. 
These are code words for we can't cut the ring off. They was adamant about fighting undefeated three division world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis, 27 wins, no loss, no draw, 25 wins by way of knockout, five foot five with a 67 inch arm each in the rematch because Javante Tank Davis is a southpaw, he athletic, explosive, but Javante Tank Davis style is not to be elusive. Javante Tank Davis style is to stand flat footed and look to get you out there. Now he'll fight off the back foot like he did with Isaac Cruz. Okay. Um, he, he could box laterally if he so chooses. Uh, he can outbox you if he wants to. Very high ring IQ. But Javante Tank Davis would much rather sit in the pocket with you, trade with you, look to land one of them big explosive punches and knock you out. He's going to give Isaac Cruz more opportunities. Now, what's funny about this is Shakur Stevenson is not... Uh, um, he don't utilize the ring a lot One fight In his fight In his last three fights Was what Shakur Stevenson was moving around the ring This fight His last few fights uh, When you look at his fight The unification bout with Mexican superstar Two division world champion Oscar Valdez He stood right in the pocket Right in front of Oscar Valdez He's a southpaw as well He's a different type of southpaw Than Javante Tank Davis Okay, he's elusive. He's defensively responsible. He's a counter puncher. He's going to outbox you. He's going to set you up. He's going to set traps. That's not what Tank Davis do. He's going to set traps to knock you out, but he's going to give you more opportunities because he's just going to stand uh, stationary at times. That's not what Shakur Stevenson is going to do. That's what he did against uh, um, Oscar Valdez. He stood in the pocket. He just makes you miss in the pocket. He wasn't running around the ring. When he fought Jamel Herring, he was the aggressor. He wasn't running around the ring. Uh, when he fought in his last fight uh, against Robson Casasial, he was the aggressor. He was coming forward. He was getting hit. He wasn't running around the ring. So where do they get the notion and the idea that he's going to be running around the ring? Like a dog chasing a cat. No, these are cold words for we can't catch up to him, right? We're not athletically... Uh, uh, gifted enough to compete with him And if he chooses to move the, Move around the ring The last time we see him Move around the ring okay, Was against Toka Khan Clary And Nakatilia Okay And it was the Nakatilia fight Where people was labeled him boring Because he was utilizing the ring With somebody that has A lot of power in Nakatilia That's not going to be the case With Isaac Cruz and they know he's going to pick Isaac Cruz apart right there in the in the phone booth. And that would be the end of Isaac Pitbull Cruz's uh, star stardom. Okay? He got this star stardom, stardom off of taking a loss to Javante Tank Davis, who injured his hand in the sixth round of the fight. And I thought Javante Tank Davis clearly won the fight. I thought it was one of his best performances because the adjustments that he made. But he, Javante Tank Davis just picked... Uh, uh, um, Isaac Cruz off Utilizing on the back foot And utilizing uh, um, uh, His lateral movement Shakur Stevenson is going to do even He's more elusive More defensively responsible Than uh, um, Javante Tate Davis And he's going to throw more combinations Isaac Pitbull Cruz They understand his style Shakur Stevenson that is Is all wrong for Isaac Cruz Okay So they're using the excuse that Shakur Stevenson is going to run around the ring Again, like I said Against Sh uh, Shakur Stevenson Against Robson Casasial, He stood right in the pocket Oscar Valdez stood right in the pocket Jamel Heron stood right in the pocket He was actually an aggressor against Robson Casasial And uh, Jamel Heron And Oscar Valdez All he did was stand right in the pocket and make a miss Right in front of him Right in the phone booth The entire fight so where do they get this, this idea and the notion that he's just going to be running around the ring? Because, again, Isaac Cruz made his name off of being competitive in the fight with Javante Tank Davis that he lost. Okay? He lost the fight, but it's simply because he was competitive. Everybody wants to give him extra credit for doing so. Right? And now they understand that getting dominated, outclassed like he would against Shakur Stevenson 
is not a good idea for their brand moving forward. They want somebody, like he said, an easier fight. Why? Because Lomachenko has shown he struggles with pressure fighters. He Lomachenko has shown that he's he's not the same guy when you're the aggressor. Lomachenko has shown that he don't like to deal with physical uh, uh, um, cross just bit, you know straggle, straddling the line type of fighters. Isaac Cruz is rough, rugged, like Orlando Salido, so they think they could get a, a, a lucky victory over Lomachenko. But they know, nine times out of ten, Lomachenko is going to lose to Devin Haney. They don't want that fight. See, they don't say they're not saying they want the winner of Devin Haney Lomachenko because that's going to put them in the, in the spot because Devin Haney's a network promotional free agent after this Lomachenko fight. This is his last fight with uh, a top rank. So they know if he wins that fight, right, then they, it's a possibility Devin Haney will look to make the fight with Isaac Cruz as he's he's doing all the talking. And he could become the mandatory for him. They don't want to be in that position. So they're, they're dotting the I's, they're, they're uh, uh, dotting the I's and crossing all the T's to let you know they don't want that type of style fighter. Code word for we can't compete with, with African-American fighters, period. Unless they cooperate and stand there in front of us. And Shakur Stevenson is going to cooperate, but he's going to make a miss in the phone booth. They know that. It's a shame. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Road. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.